Yo, let's go, y'all. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Raiden nerfs are finally here. Seven long months of dealing with crazy on block long special with no gap chip damage into cameo. And uh looks like he got a nerf today to uh to that move. So we're gonna check out these whole patch notes though. Um that was just a sneak peek. Now let's check out uh let's go to the top. So game stability improvements, gameplay performance improved. This is for PC, okay. Okay, hopefully the game doesn't feel poop online because ever since the crossplay update, like the game feels like like you'll lag against like your brother down the street and you both have fiber internet type of deal. Um okay, move less corrections, localization fixes, AI adjustments, improvements, improvements to screen reader functionality, added ermac. And this patch drops, I assume, in like an hour. Uh it's like 10 a.m. where I'm at. Um Eastern. So this Patches and like DLC normally drops at like eleven Eastern or like noon. Um Deception skins for Shao and Sindel. Oh, that's awesome. Deadly Light skins for Quan and Chang. Let's go. DLC getting new skins. Let's go. That's a fucking dub. Fixed uh visual issues, brutality. Okay, because like some of those visual issues, it's like, are they ever gonna fix these? You know? Looks like they finally are. Improved AI ability to perform and defend against wake ups and reversals, okay. Guest users can now access unlocks and local verses. Fix the gameplay pause delay settings. Um, fix situations where health values display survival tower. Daily and weekly quests. Um, fix situation where game could become unresponsive. Okay. Just as fatal blow timing. Story mode. No, uh, we won't. A lot of this stuff we don't really care about as people who, like, have already done the story mode and stuff like that. Um, okay, okay. Uh, fixed issue with cameo moves not executing while the roster character is performing a dash with specific timing. I've noticed that before because there's times where I'm, like, trying to go in on someone with, like, Baraka Striker. And I do Striker and, like, I'm just like, where was where was he? You know what I'm saying? And I think that's probably what that was, so that's good. Uh, fix issue that could briefly cause incorrect victim regions to not be used after duck blocking. Okay. Okay, just a... Okay. Okay, okay, so a bunch of little quality of life stuff. Okay, online, this is big. Adjustments to rollback to improve online performance. Let's go. Add a crossplay support to Koth. Let's go. Fix several issues with crossplay and Koth invites. Let's go. Let's go. This is all good stuff. Um. Yeah, this is all good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Invasions. We don't care. I do want to. I heard that these are good changes. I guess I do want to try invasion a little bit to get like skins and stuff. But let's be real. Overall, I don't care. Uh, practice mode fix block not working correctly. If opponent is hit, then okay. 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 Um, main fighters, Baraka, fixed bleeding blade, unable to trade hits. Um, what is bleeding blade? General Shao fixed. See, in the so like in the Tekken scene, people would be like, "Oh my God, Paul did uh, the the what's Paul's punch called? Oh my God, I was grinding Tekken like recently. What is his punch called? I forget. But anyways, in Tekken, there's so many moves, so they call the move by the name." But in the NRS team, we call the move by the input. So, like, if Bleeding Blade is, like, um, down back one, we call it down back one. We don't call it Bleeding Blade. So, even though I'm a Baraka main, I don't really know what, um... I don't really know what that is. All right, General Shao. Fix Settled Dispute, down back punch, causing incorrect knockdown animation without cameo. That's good. Not dropping his axe is expected when defeated by brutality. Okay, that's... That's not a, uh... Okay. Added UI elements to display current hourglass level used by inevitable and fixed point. That's like a nerf low key because before like the Gears player would always know better when they have it and other people would have to kind of guess like, oh, does he have it now? Does he not? So that's actually a nerf. Um, low Gears nerf. Unfortunate. Atomic Diver jump back punch. Okay, so an air string now has two more frames of hit advantage and releases a punt from the synchronized animation. That's good. Um, fix issue that caused slowdown. Um, to spawn an incorrect location, fixed camera issue that could occur during history lesson. So overall, gear stock's kind of down a little bit in this patch. Well, 
I say that, but if top tier's got nerfs, then, you know, gear stocks up. Because this isn't like a giant nerf, but it's a little nerf, you know, because Gears players, they would know when they had their hourglass loaded at this point. Other people wouldn't know. So that was like really good for him. And now everyone will know. Um, fixed batters up, up, batters uppercut, down, back punch. Okay, so in, causing incorrect knockdown animation when hitting Kami. Okay. Fixed issue that could cause a neoplasm projectile to no longer be active. Fixed sub zero Arctic armor. Lo okay, so no real havoc buffs. Okay. Even though people believe he's like bottom one. Fix incorrect animation being briefly used if, if using Sento stance with practice settings, team settings. Okay. Fixed rare situation that could cause the opponent to face the wrong direction when hit with low dragon. Okay. I play Lou a bit and I can't recall that happening much, but it's good they fixed it. Okay. Another little bug fix with Melina. Fix deep slash jump front punch not being able to combo into hex kick front kick. Okay. Fixed rare issue with air dash specials, which could cause enhanced air dash to be prioritized if Natara performs a ground attack the same frame as landing after an air dash. Okay, so it seems like a lot of these are like fixes. Here we go, here we go. Okay, so this is Storm Cell right here, Electromagnetic Storm. No longer pulls in airborne opponents that are not in a combo. Has less pushback on block. Let's go for... Wait. Has less pushback on block. And does 27 less damage. Less pushback on block. I'm trying to think, like, because the big thing with him was he would pull you in. It doesn't say anything, like, if you're on the ground and stuff. Like, it would, like, suck you in. Guarantee that, like, the the sequence, the chip, the, uh, the cameo uh, block strings. No longer hit airborne opponents that are not in the combo. I have 10 more frames of recovery on block. Ooh. Okay, that's the big nerf right there. 10 more frames of recovery on block. So now with Storm Cell, wow. So, so it's really pun. They're really punishable now. And because of them being way more punishable, they're not just going to be able to do like cameo into like a jailed sequence after. They're going to have to do cameo to make it safe, which is so good, man. Because like, here's the thing. If you have a special move that you can do off of like a poke, off of any string, stuff like that, and there's not really gaps off of it, and it has really good chip, hard to floss block, you shouldn't also be plus 12 off of it. You know what I'm saying? With a cameo. You should be like plus two at max. And it looks like that's what that did here. It looks like that's what they did. So and now when they do that Kano sequence, they're not going to be plus 12. They're going to be plus two, which is awesome. Like, dude, the fact that he can do down one storm cell, fucking down four storm cell, fucking any string, deconfirm into storm cell if it's blocked, in the Kano to be plus 12, that is just way too broken. Like, this is like a W nerf right here. Fucking W nerf. It's not going to kill him. It's not going to kill him. Being plus two off of that is still so good. Like, you know what I mean? Like, obviously, Raiden players are used to how broken he was. So this is going to seem, seem insane. But whenever you think about the power levels of the rest of the cast, that's still really good, man. That's still really good. Dude, Baraka. Baraka is like, his shit has a huge gap. Like, his, uh, his Storm Cell type of move has a huge gap, it's easy to floss block, and he's not nearly as plus off of it. If anything, they're just bringing Raiden down to the level of other characters. He's not really, like, um, yeah, he's still going to be good. He's not going to be, you know, you got to pick him if you want to win Final Combat like he was before, but uh, he's still good for sure. Um, yeah, so this is actually a W nerf. He's still good, but he's not insane. He's not ridiculous. Um, increased recovery on miss of electric fly. That's awesome. Before it was like insane how quick he recovered. Now, if a character has dangerous, like full screen game, you're actually going to need cameo to like cover those shenanigans. Um, razzle dazzle and enhanced razzle dazzle has one more startup frame, five more blocks than frames and increased pushback on block. What is razzle dazzle? Is that like that move? They never use really when uh, electric charge is active. Will gain extra blocks and pushback. Electric charge is whenever like you block a lot with them, right? And you uh he like gets more like lightning y. Okay. Follow up has the different Alright, so these seem like wind changes. These seem like wind changes. Raiden still he has great buttons, safe overhead, 
uh, fast confirmable low, plus on block jab string, really good like a uh, other jab string, really good um decent little projectile game with like his projectile teleport stuff like that, especially when covered with cameo. And he's still gonna be able to like hit confirm, uh, grab, do his overhead, and whenever he gets blocked, he's still gonna be able to do a chip special into being like plus two. You know what I mean? Um, if I'm reading this right, so he's still gonna be good. He's just not. He's not going to be looping you in block strings like a Dragon Ball character. You know what I'm saying? So, W nerfs, in my opinion. All right, now, Rain added new base. So, this is another thing. They're adding a lot of new moves to characters, like they did with Quan Chi. Now, he's getting new basic attacks towards front punch and puddle step away front kick. So, the away front kick is like his uh, MK11 oh, uh, back three, where it's like the little like uh, spinning kick to the legs into like the like little like uh, water knee. So he's getting that again, but it seems like it launches. Whereas in MK11, it just it did like 10% knocked him back. So in this, it seems to launch. I don't know what shipwrecker is towards front punch. I think it's like a little like water push that he has, like a new mid. Um, add a new combo tax toward front punch, back punch, and away from kickback. Kick. That's what I was talking about. This is the MK11 string, but better, but better than it was in MK11. Um, back punch, front punch. Front punch has two more frames of hit advantage. It has seven more frames towards back punch. That's his overhead. It has seven more frames of hit advantage and recovers two frames slower on hit. Okay. That's his overhead. No, his overhead's 4-3. Oh, his his that's his main mid before 4-2, where he does like the like he like uh, moves his hand down and summons the water, and then he has the low. Yeah, yeah, that's his 13 frame mid. Seven more frames of hit advantage and recovers two frames slower on a hit. Okay. Seems like a like a nothing change. Really. Um towards back punch, front punch, has five more frames of hit advantage, five less blocks than frames, and recovers five frames faster. Recovers five frames faster, but has five less blocks than frames. So these seem like almost like nothing changes to me, unless I'm reading it wrong. The the hit advantage is the part that might actually make a difference. Okay. Um, towards towards back punch, front punch, front kick starts up five frames faster. Huh. So does that mean there's gonna be less of a gap? Or no, no, no. They needed to do that so that this change wouldn't make it have a gap. Okay, okay. Because if you remember that string, that mid string that goes mid, low, mid with rain, it the second, the first and second hit in between had a gap, but the second and third in between didn't. I don't believe. So they made sure that stayed the same by adding this as well to compensate with whatever they're doing with these changes. Okay, that makes sense. Um, water beam charge now can be can now be canceled into some other special moves. Water beam charge, really. Water beam charge cancel can now be done five frames faster and can only be used once per combo. Whoa, hold up. That's a crazy change. So now we're going to be able to do like run cancel combos with rain. Whoa, dude, rain stocks are up, y'all. Rain stocks are up. Holy crap. They gave them new strings, new strings. One we know is a good launcher and he can do cancel combos now. Holy crap, rain stocks are up, y'all. Oh my god. I don't know why they felt like rain was like the worst character in the game, but I'm down. I like rain in this game. I'm down for these buffs. See, these are buffs. These are what I'm talking about. These are the kind of buffs I'm trying to see. Holy crap, if I'm reading this right, he's going to have like MKX like run cancel combos now. Holy crap. Rain God now has four more frames of startup when done as a cancel during a combo. Rain God, that's when he goes up in the air and throws down the bomb, right? The spear bomb. Has four more frames of startup when done as a cancel during the combo. Okay. Weird change. Some of these changes are weird, but the biggest changes here are W's. The biggest changes here are W's. Definitely picking Rain back up. Fix being unable to duck block after dashing during water beam charge cancel. That's a good change. That's good. A little bug fix. Okay, Reptile, this is a big one. Um, Killer Kick. Front punch, front punch, back kick can now be canceled into air falling. Whoa, that's a huge change. That's his jab string, the jab, jab kick that like Honeybee and other people combo with in the corner. That was just minus seven on block, like, you know, a trash, like 
MK11 gear string. Now you can cancel in this air falling fangs. And they're, yeah, you can now cancel air falling fangs as well. So, dude, that's reptile stonks up. Reptile stonks up. Uh, froggy knee, back punch, front kick, back punch. Oh, that's his um launcher. Towards back punch, front. Those are his launchers. Yeah, the unsafe ones on block. Now move slightly further and have a larger hit region when opponent is in a combo. Ooh, so it's going to make combos smoother. Devastating blow away, back punch. That's his overhead. Fully charged up, now starts up three frames faster and records. Okay, so his fully charged one where he turns into the lizard and smacks him for the launch. That's better now. Um, front kick. First hit has 12 more frames of hit advantage. Okay, that's that's a really good normal, I believe. His just stand three. Acid spitball is a new special move performed by holding front punch during acid spit or uh, enhanced acid spit. So he's got a regular fireball now, which is really good because... With Reptile before, if you didn't have a cameo that adds a regular projectile, he's only really got Force Ball, which is really bad whenever you're in like a projectile war, stuff like that, unless you can maybe fish for a trade. But again, some characters, their projectiles are so plus on hit that trades don't really matter. And yeah, it just wasn't a good situation. But now he's got a regular projectile, which, dude, Reptile stonks are up. Dude, these buffs are making me excited to play Rain, excited to play Reptile. You know what I'm saying? These are W buffs. This is what they should have been doing in the other patches. You know what I'm saying? Um, air falling fangs and enhanced air falling fangs cannot be canceled by holding down. That's awesome. It's that little invisible cancel we saw in the um, the trailer. That's awesome. I wonder if he's going to be able to maybe do some conversions with it like Rain is going to be able to. Um, and enhanced invisibility now becomes fully invisible about two seconds faster. That's crazy. Two seconds is 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 like forever. In like a fighting game, because you got to think that's like 120 frames. So it's becoming he's becoming invisible like 120 frames faster. That's crazy. Okay, Scorpion. This is another big one. Added new combo attack, fire pillar thrust towards front kick, back kick. So this is a mid mid string. It appears to maybe have an armorable gap, but uh, four three by itself is safe on block. In a lot of characters, their armor move is only like 11, percent so it's not that big of a deal. So yeah, now Scorpion's got a mid mid string. It is special cancelable. I wonder what it is on block, like the string itself. Um, if it isn't safe, we could do like forward three four, and if we see it's blocked, chain spin into like striker or Kano or Goro. Um, so yeah, this is a big buff. No matter how it shakes out, no matter how my on block it is, no matter you know what I mean, it's still a huge buff. You know what I mean? But we're gonna see how big of a buff it is because if it's just safe, like. 434 is just safe. Dude, Scorpion stocks are going to be so so up. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be so up. So yeah. And plus, even if it is unsafe on block, now people are going to have to just block 432 because they're going to be worried about, oh, he's going to do 434 type of deal. You know what I'm saying? So Scorpion stocks are pretty up. Um, These buffs aren't as fun as like the Reptile Rain ones, but it might be more significant than the Reptile Rain ones just because that's the one thing the Scorpion was kind of starved of in this game was like a solid mid-string. So, yeah, his stocks are definitely up. Um, increased hit region and landing speed of get over there, jump, front punch, front punch, back punch. Now is a different hit reaction. Okay. I need to actually see that to know what the change is there. Maybe Scorpion players can understand it just from reading it. Um... Fixed rare situation where opponent would pass through Scorpion after being hit by a spear near the corner. Fixed being able to extend finish him sequence by ducked attacks, cancel the spear. Okay. Sindel input for air hairball can now be buffered during the startup of air levitate. That's good. Fixed rare issue when Queen's Command hits Chameleon. Okay, that's cool. Okay, okay. Okay, it seems like a lot of these are, like, issues they're fixing. Okay, I want to see, like, Zone of Waste Armor being applied no longer resets combo counter and damage scaling. Okay. If it says fixed issue, I'm just going to move on, to be honest. I want to see... Okay, here we go. Heavy overhand justice. Back punch, now 20 less damage. Damn. That makes sense, though, because if you remember, his stand 2 was 5%. That doesn't make any sense. Everyone else's stand 2 is 3%. So that's just bringing him down to everyone else. Enhanced force meter does 10 less damage on second, third hit. Enhanced for oh, multiplayer does 10%, 10 less damage on second, third hit. 
So that's the EX projectile, the shot, shot, shot. Um, human torpedo does 10 less damage. Enhanced does 20 less damage as increased combo damage scaling. Sonic Boom does 20 less damage. Force build can absorb a mass maximum of two hits and last two seconds shorter. And it was already really short. It was already really short. It's just it started up so quick and it lasted a decent amount of time. And like I told y'all, two seconds is a lot of time in a fighting game like this. And it ex absorbs two less hits. Wow. Fix issue that could cause. Okay, so that's double eagly, right? That's double eagly. Issue with ultimate ally causing hit pause to only apply to the opponent. Fix issue that could cause human torpedo to sometimes push back, knock down opponents. Um. Okay. Okay. So they nerfed torpedo a little bit. They nerfed force field a lot. They nerfed sonic boom. They nerfed his stand too. So pretty fair, I would say. They could have done him a lot worse. Let's be real. <laughs> Let's be real. They could have done Peacemaker a lot worse. Um, Raiden got nerfed worse. I think Raiden's nerfs aren't that bad. Um, in the grand scheme of everything, like he's not going to be low tier. Um, but Peacemaker, like I don't know, these nerfs aren't that bad at all. Like you really don't need Force Field lasting that long to outzone a lot of these characters. You really don't need all the damage he was getting to, to like beat people in a couple hits or three hits with them. Like these nerfs are like, because here's the thing: whenever you scroll down, you see so much text, so you assume like, oh man, they got Peacemaker bad. But they went really light with the Peacemaker nerfs, which I like. I don't like heavy nerfs. Obviously, we've seen for seven months that Storm Cell is a menace to society. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that getting a big nerf, you know, it, it was time. But with Peacemaker, I'm glad they went kind of light on the nerfs, to be honest. Um, okay. Just an issue. Slightly increased hit region on Backbreaker when opponents in a combo. That's good. Buzzsaw... Wow, Buzzsaw no longer hits airborne opponents not in a combo. That's a nerf. Why does Kung Lao Cameo keep getting nerfed? That like I feel like it was in a good spot. Um Flamethrower second hit's now considered a projectile instead of a melee attack. Okay. It's interesting. Hellblade's hit reaction has 13 more frames of hit advantage before the opponent's knocked down. Okay. Chujinko got big nerf big buffs, yeah. Recovers from his breaker 15 frames earlier. Um, now showing the move list. Yeah, and he got more moves. He got more launching moves on characters where he had shitty moves before, like Baraka, Reiko, stuff like that. So, yeah, Shujinko stocks are up, and he gives plus one hundred health. So, Shujinko stocks are up. Um, Ashra. Oh, this is the details. Okay. This is like all the better stuff he gets. Basically, now he's going to have something good against everyone, basically. Um, and if the move was bad, they but like it seems like they really rehauled or like overhauled Chujinko. Well, no, Sonya can't. Sonya will no longer be pushed by the opponent while charging energy rings. Okay. Rolling Rock and Ground Pound no longer hit. Okay. <laughs> I wish they, dude, like Trimmer, like. He's got like nine moves, but people only use one move. Like they needed to, I wish they would make more, um, kind of like risky changes with him to like open up his move set. Chameleon increase hit range region on the second hit of Phantos for the first frame. The attack is active. Okay. No chameleon nerfs. That's an L. She should have got a little bit of nerfs in my opinion. Janet Cage slightly increased combo damage scaling on box office bomb and box office bang. Why? Why are they nerfing her already? Mm, that's they they are nerfing her a little bit already. That's weird. Chameleon is the one who should have got little nerfs, not Janet, in my opinion. But anyways, W patch. Um, we got meaningful buffs to Scorpion, Rain, and Reptile. We got meaningful nerfs to Peacemaker and Raiden. And uh, they were the right nerfs, in my opinion, to uh, Raiden especially. Um, so yeah, y'all, and the right buffs too. I think these these buffs are going to help uh, Rain, Reptile, and Scorpion a lot, especially Scorpion. Like Scorpion, there's a lot more text, but he really got the one buff that like everyone wanted with him. Um, so yeah, y'all, 
I know Ermac comes out today, but this is really making me excited to try Rain again, uh, to pick Reptile back up. To I've I've never really dropped Scorpion. I've always kind of had a side Scorpion, so it's making me excited to put more time into him. Um, so yeah, y'all, this is exciting. Let me know what y'all think in the comments down below later.